Hey everyone, I'm Granhal. Welcome to Let's No Seriously Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. You may be wondering why I emphasize the let's so much, and why that emphasis is even in the video title. Well, here's the thing. I think normal Pokemon Let's Plays are dull. So, I've decided to do this with some unique restrictions on my behavior. Now, you may be thinking to yourself this is going to be a Nuzlocke run, but you would be mistaken. I kind of think Nuzlocke runs have been done to death. These... These restrictions are ones that I dreamed up while watching a certain community-played Pokemon game on Twitch. And, as a thought experiment, I tried thinking up ways that that, that beautiful chaos could be replicated at least in some small way. So, here are the rules that I came up with. Rule number one. I can only use the PC for releasing. No withdrawals, no deposits. If I accidentally catch something while my party is full, I must release it at my earliest convenience. Rule number two. I cannot use Poke Centers to heal. The only way to heal my team is for everyone in it to faint. Please note, however, I will certainly be entering Poke Centers in order to set new respawn points. Rule number three. I can only use items I find in the world. No buying, no selling. This isn't quite going to make money useless, I don't think, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Rule number four. I cannot grind in the tall grass. Experience is to be gained by battling trainers and possibly repeatedly whiting out against them. Rule number five. I can choose when to learn new moves, and I can choose what new moves to learn, but when I do so, I have to randomly choose which of the four slots it's going to be learned into. And when I say randomly choose, I mean I'm going to use a random number generator to give me a number from 1 to 4. It's not actually going to be me choosing, it's just... That was the first... We're, next rule. Rule number 6. This is where the no seriously let's part of the title comes into play. It's also the most convoluted rule, so... hang on. Before recording each part, I will look in the comments of the previous video. I will pick a comment at random, and start the video by performing the action in that command, if possible. These actions can break any of the previous rules, and can be as simple or as complicated as you want. You could tell me to fly to Petalburg Town, deposit three Pokemon, buy three Pokeballs, catch a Wurmple, an Inkeda, and a Meryl, nickname them Huey, Dewey, and Agamemnon, and grind them at Mount Chimney, healing at the Poke Center every time all three are unconscious, and only stop grinding once they're all the same level as the rest of my party. Or you could tell me to catch a Teddy Ursa. If a command is something that would take too long for one video, I will do as much as I can toward that goal. So if you tell me to grind to level 100 on Route 104, I'll spend the entire video on Route 104. The next video will have a new command and we'll just start off from there. If a comment tells me to do something impossible, like I don't know, go fight Misty, that comment will not go into the random selection. I mean, it's not something I can do anyway, so why would I bother? And finally, rule number seven. The only rule that you guys can't break. I'm going to start a 15 minute timer when I start recording, and when it goes off, I save and quit. So, as you guys can tell, from every other rule being a couple sentences, and rule 6 being a freaking essay, this Let's Play is going to rely on you. Tell me to do things that will help me, like buying full restores. Tell me to do things that will hinder me, like releasing my starter. Tell me to do things that will just make me run around in circles, like talk to each defeated gym leader again. I'm tossing my puppet strings to you guys, now it's up to you to make me dance. So, time for us to start. Before we do so, I'm giving you a chance to start giving me orders. Is there a particular gender you want? A particular starter? Maybe you just want to choose the name.
Ball's in your court. And the ball's in your court. You're, you have my puppet strings. I'm mixing metaphors all over the place here. Anyway, I'm Grant Hall. See you guys next time.